Hello and welcome to another video. Today I want to show you my uh, setup for Stream Deck. I use it for about 3-4 uh, months. I set it up for Adobe Premiere and uh, I will share my uh, profile of Adobe Premiere uh, on the video description below. So you can, uh, if you have a Stream Deck, you can download it and import it or copy it into the profile folder and then you can uh, use it in your own. I show you what I've done with the buttons and how I set up the buttons. Of course you can change it after. But I'm just going to show you uh, how it's working. So let's get into it. Uh, here you see a timeline and it's a timeline with a multi-camera that I make for my uh, Asus Republic of Gaming laptop and uh, some uh, buttons that I add into the Stream Deck uh, that make it easy even with the multicam uh, video that you make. But first I'm going to show you, uh, this is a mine, mine button. This is a button that uh, takes you back into the Stream Deck mine application. But now we concentrate on Adobe Premiere so you can see how to use it with Adobe Premiere. A um, few days ago I make some also changes and I added some buttons. Um, yeah, so this is the timeline here. Uh, and if you want to cut, so first I make a cut, a select cut, which means that once I click on it, it's a two ways button. So once I click on it, uh, it's changed to the razor here, and when I click on it again, it will move back into selecting tools. So it's two ways button. Uh, ripple delay. This is when I click on it. If I choose this, click ripple delay, it will take it off this piece and push everything together back. Uh, this is a cut, but this different between select cut and the cut is that uh, once I click on it, it will make a cut all over automatically. So you can just move the sign to here and you want to cut. Instead select the razor and then point it here and then cut. You can just click cut and you can have it cut all the way with the sound. Next is default transition. It means that if I want to have transition between this and that, I click on this and you can see it's give transition. Default. Of course you can choose which uh, default uh, transition you want to have. In the end, in the middle, between, wherever you want, you have a default transition instead pick it up where is all the transition and sound and everything that you want to add into the movie next it's a uh, edit tools I don't use so much this edit tool yet but I make a uh, ripple edit pen tools and select preview select and all these uh, buttons and I copy the icons also so you have the icons copy from the application himself also you go back and then you have mark tools so you have add marker mark in mark out so if you do like this here mark in you come in here mark out you have all of this uh, that you can choose a part of the video and you have also add marker you can just click here add mark, it's add one right here, or if you do like this, you can add mark on the sound. Next is a system. So in the system I have exit the application, export the video, undo, redo, you all know what is mean, and workspace. You can do workspace and then you can have a point and you can make a button on one screen, dual screen, all panels, scholar, and 
all the panels that you have. You can fix it yourself after and add more panels. You have a shortcut for each uh, uh, workspace, so you can make a shortcut yourself on the application and save. You can save. You click save, and it saves the work. Export. Then it's bring you into the export screen. Next, it's a multi-camera. So I had a number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, depends how many cameras you have. Uh, the camera, uh, so if you wanna, if I come here for example, I can choose. Uh, for example, instead click on 1, 2, I can just click camera 1, camera 2 on a multi-camera screen. So this is act the same as a button, so I just make a button for 1, button for number 2 and so on. Delete, if you want to delete a part, delete. Then you have play, so if you put it here, you want to play this movie, pause. Then if you want to go one step forward and one step backward, if you click and hold it, so the movie move fast. Zoom in, zoom out. Zoom out, zoom in. I make it as a button, plus minus. So and also I, there's one minus here that I try to put a shift. For example, if you want to make a cut, uh, all over. So instead, use the cut button. You can use a shift and then the razor then the cut. So if you click shift, then you see you can cut all over. If you click and hold shift, you can cut all over the timeline. Sometimes you have a lots of video and you want to cut all in once. You cannot have a shift button on this one, so you can click only shift and then hold it. So it's not, you need to have shift plus another button. So what I've done, I have a rocket uh, mouse and I add one button which is control C. So once I click on it in a mouse, you don't see it on the screen here because I click it on the mouse, one button, I hold it and then I click and then it's cut it all over. It's a very easy to use. Uh, this uh, stream deck, all the buttons, it's right when you need them. So if you don't need to click shift, you're not really uh, touch all the keyboard uh, during your uh, workflow unless you use uh, very very complex things and maybe you need to use some buttons but uh, for my uh, need of use uh, I very very happy I just sit with my finger on the buttons click change and this button select and cut this is a new I just added now and this cut also. Instead select the cut and move the mouse and then click. Then you can very easily uh, click. You choose the place. You cut it. Also they make a change a few days ago. They make upgrade to the stream deck. So you can actually have a different, for example, select and cut. They, have a, they can have a different logo. You can have a different name, so you know exactly which position is it right now. This is uh, my review for four months of use in a, with a stream deck. Uh, and of course you can do a lot more than Adobe Premiere. Uh, you can have a media, a streaming and all these kind of things. But this uh, review is uh, special about how to use Adobe Premiere with a stream deck. And just to rem remind you, I have a profile on the description below. You can download it, put it on your own Stream Deck application, and then use it. Very easy. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope it uh, helped you. I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.